Welcome to another chat on awakenings. Today we're talking about the final aspect of my book, Food for Thought, which is further to the many contemplations and considerations. I've written Food for Thought as a summary to ponder and set oneself free from the many confines of one's thoughts. It is inspired by my witnessing of the profound experiences and openness of my friends and family. I feel we must correct our thinking to truly nurture ourselves, to be open to greater possibilities and a deeper, more meaningful life. So I've got a few headings that actually, how it came about writing this, I was looking to write some insights for social media for giving me a sense of myself and I came up with food for thought and I wrote it just, I was talking to Linda and Linda said, I'll write something. So I did and I tried it in one go and then I went, okay, this, this works at the end of the book. So we did ex- extracts for the social media, but it's contemplations, deep contemplations on things that I feel is worth considering when you get lost in life. I'll, I'll just read some patches on what I've, what I've written. So the first section is, what is in me is in you. Immerse yourself in your beautiful, profound softness. May it melt your walls so that you may see and feel the divine beauty within and around you. What is in me is in you. That profound beauty does not belong to me or come from me, but comes through me. As I surrender, my walls come down, allowing me to shine and encouraging others to do the same. There's nothing to own or hold on to. It is the mere ownership and grasping that limits us. The ebb and flow of life is natural. It pushes us forward, inward. Resisting this creates suffering, turmoil. Let go, embrace the flow, for greater things are ahead of you. But what I, I think, I might just read the sections, and not a lot of them, and I'll read the first paragraph, just give a sense, but there's more on this. So inner child. To nurture our inner child is to heal that pain within of not being enough, unworthy, undervalued, misunderstood. As we are able to soften around infants, children, and our pets, we must offer this softening to ourselves. And it's amazing how we we do offer insight into others and we can soften with others and with our children. And our children are great ones to to allow our, our softness to come through, especially when they're young and they're, they're vulnerable and, and sometimes they don't get under your skin so much for some people that might be irritated by the children in a sense. And I've spoken to people that the children themselves have some issues at any points of their life. I say go back to the point where there was none but you can get access to yourself and their innocence and how they actually are because that's who they are. And it's amazing how they can offer it out outward to those they love, but they can't within themselves. There's a hurdle. So the, the formula they use in the heart they use in others that gives them a way into their hearts, it's amazing how people refuse to actually use that same technique or to allow that same softness of heart to themselves. Some people just don't feel worthy. And if you if you hesitate, to offer yourself softness when you can offer others, then there's something you need to look into within yourself. Our inner child is hurting, waiting for us. This is the hole we feel. We must nurture our and console this aspect within for true, deep healing and understanding. So it goes on with a few other paragraphs on insight into the inner child and to get in touch with yourself, your heart. The next section, be careful with whom you seek advice. I want to remind people that these can be found on the website as well if they want to. Oh, yeah. Sort of ponder them. Yeah, on the website. Yeah, very good. So I'll just pick one of these, uh, one paragraph under this section. Be careful with whom you seek advice. A true seer or seer will support, encourage, and inspire the innermost you, your inner child, your heart. They'll see you even when you cannot see yourself, they will never judge you. They will encourage you to find your way, not theirs. That is profound. That is how it is. So if we're seeking support or give someone a position over us or a mentor, if they judge you, not your actions, but if they judge you, then their help can be limited because there's a certain sense of positioning and they're not fully understanding you. That's how I feel. It has been in my experience. Never give in. The mind will keep coming up with answers, interpretations, or assessments on where you are. Don't sell yourself short. Never settle for an idea that restricts you. 
be prepared to let all thoughts go. You will not lose yourself. Letting go of our restrictive thoughts and ideas is how we actually find ourselves, our true self. Often whilst in solitude, we discover our deepest love and connection to everything. So being alone can be an opportunity to go deeper. It, it doesn't mean that it needs to be suffering. And the times when you reflect, it's a great opportunity to discover yourself. That's basically it, except for it has a picture of me, myself, writing that my nephew took of me without me knowing when I was finishing the book mm-hmm. in New South Wales. And then it's got an amazing in-depth, <laughs> uh, what's the word? <laughs> author information. Yeah, it's got um, awesome author information that Linda wrote as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> When uh, it's a big contribution to the book, to the writing, uh, they, they wrote about me with that laughing, chuckling to yourself. And, yes. uh, and uh, didn't didn't think I'd go for it. Went, oh, that's it. That's it. We'll do that. So that's that's uh, Linda's indie work. So, My contribution. Oh, yeah. Besides cover. <laughs> not, besides uh, proofreading everything and the, the cover, this is uh, her <laughs> indie work in the book <laughs> for a laugh. But that's it. So thanks for that, Linda. It was perfect. <laughs> a pleasure. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, for sure. An exciting journey, and there's more to come yet. So, cool, cool. So that's that's the book. I hope you pick one up. We're actually Linda and I are in the process of changing the cover because we we've made the finals. The book's made the finals for two international competitions, Indie Author and Book Excellence Awards. So we're revamping the cover, just changing a couple of things, and we'll put more information on the back just for what information I just revealed. So there'll be a slight change, but it's basically the same. Happy reading, and feel free to reach out at any point. We will continue the chats. We'll go where life takes us. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All yeah. sorts of topics. Yeah, if we see something in the media or something's going on, like most people, we'll just have a talk about it and give our spin, our own experience, and give things to ponder and consider, contemplate. So uh, so thanks for going through the reviews of the book and uh, getting a, a deeper sense of what it was. each chapter was meant for. Yeah, it's been a, a fun journey. And uh, yeah, we'll look forward to many more podcasts and seeing where, where things evolve and where things naturally go. So cool, cool. Anything? Anything, Linda? Okay. Onwards and upwards. (laughs) Onwards and upwards. That's it. So thanks for listening to another chat on awakenings and we'll look forward to the next one. Bye for now.